IFC models you get from the designers are usually in so-called local coordinates. To make the models georeferenced, you need to transform them. Unlike in other OpenPIM tools, SimplePIM has Helmer transformation, a very convenient and powerful way to transform models to project coordinate system. My name is Sagari Lehtinen, welcome. In this SimplePIM tutorial, you learn how to transform, in other words, move and rotate models in SimplePIM using a four-parameter Helmer transformation. To make a helmet transformation in SimplePIM, you need to select two points from the model and their corresponding reference points from your on-site project coordinate system. Okay, let's say you have the reference points defined. Now, click on the helmet transformation from the tools menu. A configuration dialog opens. By default, the transformation is done to the whole model. If you need more control, create a group and give its name as the target. But you don't usually need this for stakeouts and measurements. So for now, leave the target empty to transform the whole model. Enter or pick coordinates of the first point. Let's do a pick from the model. Start it from the pick button. Find a corner from the 3D. It's probably a good idea to zoom close enough with the mouse wheel so that you can be sure to click on the right corner. Let's say this one is my first known point. Use the left mouse button to pick the point and its value is entered to the dialog. Enter or pick the second point. Note that you can exit the picking mode at any time by pressing escape key from the keyboard or the X button. Now enter the corresponding points from the target system, usually the project coordinate system. You can enter X, Y and Z one by one if you like, or if you have the points defined for example in a spreadsheet or text file, you can simply copy them in one go. Copy to the clipboard with the Ctrl C or from context menu. In SimplePIM, use the paste button to automatically enter the values from the clipboard to their fields. Copy the coordinates of the second point. Note that the values need to be separated with the tab, like they are if you copy them from different cells from Excel. Make sure that the move objects with their containers is checked. Unchecking this option is a configuration which you don't need in stakeouts and measurements. Okay, let's go through the logic here. The difference between the first points will define the X, Y and Z transformation. Points 1 and 2 compose a vector in both coordinate systems. The horizontal angle of these vectors will define the rotation around the Z axis. Point 1 defines the pivot point of the rotation. SimplePIM does a 4-parameter helmet. It doesn't support rotating the model around the X and Y axis. And note that it never tries to scale the model. This is not needed because IFC models are always in one-to-one -one scale and the units are defined in the model. This means that the second points are basically only used for defining the rotation. So in that sense, they don't even have to be exactly the corresponding points, but they do have to be from the corresponding line. Click OK. The transformation is calculated and applied to the model. The model is now in your project coordinates and ready to be exported back to IFC and then loaded to your field application. One final note. Usually you get multiple updates of the same model during a project. You probably don't want to go through the whole picking and copying and pasting process every time. Good news, you don't have to. The tool remembers the previous numbers you entered. You can even save and open configurations for different projects. To save, simply click on the plus icon here. A small dialog opens. Enter the name of your configuration. You probably want to use your project name here, but it can be anything. Click OK. Now everything that is shown in the dialog is saved with the given name for reuse. You can reset the dialog to defaults like this. Now let's say you have opened an updated model. Open the helmet transformation tool, select your saved configuration from the drop down, make sure that everything is correct, click OK, and you are ready to export the updated model back to IFC. Pretty cool. When you no longer need the configuration, you can delete it from the X button so they don't pile up into your system. The pencil icon allows you to rename your configuration. That's it. In this tutorial, you learned how to use the Helmer transformation tool in SimplePIM. Check the other tutorials to learn more how SimplePIM can support your site and land surveying workflows. For now, thank you, Mr. Helmer, for your innovations and thank you for watching. See you next time.